Hi, welcome to Deb's Candy Springers here at my home in my grooming shop. And this is Dog Tricks of the Trade. One thing that I did want to point out to all of you if we're at the dog show today, I showed you this on our last segment as far as getting ready for the dog show. This is in a Visine bottle, but this is colloidal silver. And uh, at a dog show, I would have already put some in his eyes earlier in the day and it's just a drop that soothes his eyes. It would get any of the red haul out if there is any. <coughs> oh, good. <laughs> I guess you have to watch my videos on how to put in ear wraps since he shook and yours came out. So what we're mostly going to be doing today is the top coat work. If I have time today, I'll do the final trim as far as the underline don't know if we'll have time for that but it will get done so we last time we had stopped we had been working on this we had worked on this side which still needs work okay um, I haven't even touched this side yet as you can see this is still the woolly Siberian North over here and I'm not going to worry about that right now um, I hope to get into what I call the Bermuda Triangle today. That is the area from here, the back of the skull, this little bony aperture that's called the occiput, okay, to the shoulder blades, behind the shoulder blades, down to the elbow. This triangle, I call it the Bermuda Triangle because that is the most difficult thing to trim and it is also the easiest thing to trim and screw up for sure. If you're going to screw up something on your dog's grooming, that is where it's going to be, is in that Bermuda Triangle. And there is no one instruction book on any of this top coat work. Every single dog is different. And let me draw your attention once again to, you always have a picture of a show springer right over where you're working so your eyes can go to that and then back to what you're doing. Go in the magazines, pick out a dog you like, but I'm going to trim this dog to make him look like that. That is the picture. And there it is. Okay. Somebody asked about thinning shears. Really, these are Con Airs. They're like $12 on Amazon. It's the best pair of thinning shears I've ever used, and I've been doing this for over 50 years. I have bought the $200, $300, $400 pairs. Forget it. They work when I first get them. As soon as I have to get them sharpened, nobody can sharpen them right, and they're gone. So these are great. I can use these every day in the screaming shop. For six months when they go dull, I throw them away and I open up another pack. These are the best I've ever had, really, seriously. And it's not the money. It's not the money. It really is the thinning shear. <coughs> now, again, with back combing, the angle which you hold the comb. That's going to determine the length of hair because what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off anything that's on top of that comb. So if I go like this, there's that much hair. If I go like this, there's a lot more hair. So it's all about how I'm angling this comb. And just you're just going to have to move the camera around. Oh, yeah, yeah. 